Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A uh, little impromptu video as always. Uh, seems like that's my life nowadays. Oh, I think you guys are dusty. Hold on. Uh, I think that's better. And there's Ella right there. Okay, uh, the reason for this video is a follow-up to that when benchtop sander. Uh, just did the video recently and we went ahead and we were starting to work on those scales as you saw. You know, it was working. Everything was going good. Um, we've got a shop vac set up here and uh, I'm going to try to, uh, uh, hopefully the lights are going to work out here. It's kind of horrible right now being so bright outside, but we have the shop vac set up. Oh yeah, the light's going to be horrible, I think. Uh, we got our rigid set up right now, so it goes up here and collects our dust. And we have our 80 grip belts and our 120 grip belts. And Ella has been working on the pieces. Now she just finished these two, and she just started working on this third, and she came and got me because she's having a problem. Let's see if I come over here to, there we go, that's a little bit better. So she's having a problem with it. So what ended up happening is the sander was stopping. It was slowing down and stopping. So I thought, well, let's change the belt. I got the uh, hose out and we blew everything down. Uh, we ran the vacuum and we dusted it all off. I you know, we blew air all through everything and uh, we're still having problems. So I wanted to show this to you guys because we literally have only used this maybe two or three hours. That's it. We literally only use it two or three hours, and I wanted to show you guys the problems we're having. Okay, now the biggest problem we were having here is this belt. This was turning, but this belt wasn't turning. It would stop, and then it wouldn't start up when we turned on the sander. The disc would turn on, but this wouldn't turn on. So I freed it up a little bit. We'll see how it goes, and then I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, there you go, right there. You can hear it, you can running, but this isn't going. Now watch. There you go. Now it's a brand new belt and we just blew it all off with dust. See? And I'm not here, Ella, you do it. So the people think I'm, I'm pressing hard. See? Just use one hand. See? As soon as it's touched, it starts to stop. I wanted to show you guys this because we still have the box and uh, I gotta go ahead and apply for a refund with uh, Amazon and uh, let them know, but this isn't cool. This is a brand new belt. We literally, these are the first two belts we used. And sorry if the sprinklers, uh, if this is like I said, it's a pretty impromptu here. Uh, these are the first two belts we used. That's the original disc that the sander came with. Uh, this came with the sander right here, this 80 grit, and that's 150 grit that I bought, and they still have good surface on them. Uh, but like I said, we only use these three, as well as the ones you've seen in the initial video, unboxing and trying it all out. But I thought it was important to share with you guys. Uh, so hopefully the video is coming out okay, the audio, the photos, I, I can see that uh, it's a little bit too dark over here uh, for a lot of stuff that's going on, and it's super bright out here right now. Uh, but yeah, so that's where we're at right now. So, uh, you know, this was cool because this is how she's starting to make money. She's processing scales for for the knife, uh, for CK Knife and Tool. And then we can cut those, process them, put them up on Instagram and Facebook and sell those. And she actually gets paid to process all these and also to sell the scales. She's been doing it all now. So uh, this is a bummer. I paid about 105 bucks with tax or $107 with tax. But uh, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going back. Don't buy it. And uh, this is going to be the part two to that, that when bench sander thing. So, um, yeah, wanted to share that with you guys. So you have a good one. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Keep me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. We'll catch you in the next video. So. Yeah, that's a bummer.